Good morning world. It's Sunday morning. I'm out for a walk in beautiful Brunswick and I felt like it was time that I actually wanted to start up my YouTube channel. Um, I've been putting this off for a while. Um, various reasons but I've had one of those moments where I've just thought screw it let's do this um, it's the final day today of the Arnold and this weekend has just been such a motivator and inspiring for so many reasons um, but it's just given me that kick I tried to come and do my YouTube videos last night and technical issues driving me insane so here we are um, Sunday morning um, so I feel like I feel quite strange doing this it feels a lot more personal it's easy to write a Facebook status or post a picture on Instagram but it feels quite intimate um, and I feel like videos open you up to a lot of scrutiny but again I've just had one of those moments of I can't care what other people think, like, I strut around in some kind of gypsy bikini <laughs> for a hobby, so I can't care what people think. Um, so I've made, starting to make this YouTube channel mainly because I want to document my progress, my journey. Um, I love being able to look back, whether it's on time hop or whatever, and see where I was a year ago, five years ago, see what I was up to, the condition I was in. It's amazing to see how far you've come, so that's the number one reason. Um, but also, if you follow me on Instagram or Facebook, I recently um, put it out there to share information on glute training that I found. Um, I'm looking to improve my glutes and that's something I'm wanting to build on this off season. So I put a post out there saying any girls if you're interested, if you have the same aim, give me a shout. I'll send you over a copy for free. Um, and the response I was hit with, I was overwhelmed. I couldn't believe how many people were interested and the lovely messages that I received. Um, so many girls not only just saying, oh give us the free stuff, they were genuine messages of you're really inspiring me and it's amazing watching your journey and that is priceless, that's more than the 50 quid that someone could pay you for a training plan. Um, so if there's one person out there that I can push on or motivate through broadening social media world then happy days that's all I can ask for really um, so just I feel like I'm jumping way forward um, if you don't know me um, I'm originally from Leicester living in Melbourne at the moment let me just show you where I am This is just a gorgeous golf course, two minutes outside of my house, and it's so peaceful and nice to walk around here. Um, me and James have been out in Melbourne for three months now, living the dream, and um, we both competed back in November at Sugars Classic, that was in Leicester, and, um, sorry, my arm's aching. Um, we both went into it pretty blind, not sure what to expect um, and I was lucky enough to come away qualified for both the British this year and the Arnold Classic Europe which is going to be held in Barcelona. Um, so that's me um, coming out here and we've been lucky enough to be able to train at Doherty's gym here. Um, it is the mecca of Australia. People joke, but 
this place you cannot buy the atmosphere, the people, the staff, the equipment, even just the building itself with the, the walls are just walls of fame and what more could you ask for than looking up whilst you're training and being amongst champions, it's insane. Um, so we're out here, as I say, living the dream, exploring Melbourne, um, but at the same time we've both got big goals in mind. Um, I'm not afraid to set high goals, I never have been. I'm a really competitive person, always have been, um, and I'll never enter something without wanting to win. Um, so, I'm in this sport and I'm doing this sport because I want to be the best. Um, I want to compete with the best, I want to be amongst the best, and I'm not afraid of the hard work to make it happen. Um, I've recently posted about um, Michael Johnson's book, Slaying the Dragon, that I was reading, and this chapter in the book just stayed with me that about goal setting and the message was there's no point in setting a goal unless you're gonna create the steps to achieve it so it's anyone can say I want to be the next Mr Olympia, Miss Olympia I want to lose two stone but unless you actually work out how you're going to get there chances are it's not going to happen um, so I love being organised, I love having a plan knowing what I'm doing, when I'm doing and why I'm doing it so a lot of my thought has been going into working out how I'm actually going to achieve my goals and it may take two years, it may take ten years but it doesn't matter, as long as you have those small achievable steps, I don't see any reason why you can't make it happen. Um, so that's me. I'm not embarrassed in any way to say that I want to be up there. And especially with the Arnold weekend this weekend, walking into our gym, Justine Munro walks through the door, India Paulina walks through the door, there's all the top bodybuilders, Mr. Olympia, Jeremy Buendio, I think that's how you say his name. Oh, you just, you can't not be inspired by these people. You see them grafting and you see their hard work paying off and their attitude and their work ethic. It's just so inspiring to see and I love surrounding myself with people like this. Um, so, yeah, that's me going off on one and getting all excited, but as I say, it's the last day, the Arnold Classic today. Um, that's why I'm up and on this walk fairly early. Um, a friend of ours from the gym is competing in the amateur men's bodybuilding finals. So we literally want to be banging on the door, ready to get in for when the doors open, um, so we can get a good seat. Um, whoever wins the overall at this final gets their pro card. Obviously it's a huge deal and this guy's life revolves around the sport like everyone. Um, so it's just, even if you're not interested in bodybuilding, it's such an infectious atmosphere and these people are beyond passionate about what they do. As I say, their life revolves around it and it has to in this sport. Um, so I, I cannot wait. I've been so lucky this weekend to... I keep banging on about Justine Munro and I promise I'm not a weirdo. I'm not some kind of stalker. Um, but she is, to me, what an IFBB pro should be. She's always been my role model in the sport. And even her physique aside, like, she looks insane and that's... Nobody can doubt that, um, but to me, it's her attitude, um, someone who is so humble, 
while still being at the top, at the best of the best. Um, and she's so gracious in her victory as well as, I wouldn't say defeat, but when she doesn't play so well and just, she is what, a, a, as I say, a pro should be to me and getting to meet her this weekend and taking the time to chat with her has just pushed me even more, it spurred me on even more. So I'm still in off season as you'd call it at the moment. Um, so things are a little more relaxed um, and I feel like there's a lot of um, maybe stigma around off season when you aren't still in perfect shape. Everyone loves to post on Instagram when they're shredded and everyone loves to post when they're looking amazing and feeling good. Um, and I didn't realise that it would actually be quite hard during off season to cope with the mental side of it. Um, you're not used to seeing yourself in this way and it's a big shock to the body and your mind. And um, especially with this off season, I'm by no means making excuses for myself, um, but when we came off prep and after the competition, we, well, I went away for an amazing long weekend in Dublin, then it was Christmas, then me and James came out to Australia. So it was kind of one big celebration and eating and drinking fest after another, um, which, was incredible I had the best time and it was so good to spend time with my friends and family before I left for Australia um, but I did put on quite a bit of weight um, most people say during off season for bikini girls you want to sit around five kilos above your stage weight just to make prep easier and you don't want to be yo-yoing um, and that was my goal as well. I'm currently sitting more like, I think nine kilos above stage weight. And like I say, people are embarrassed to admit this sort of thing. And sorry, it's a bit muddy. <laughs> people are embarrassed to admit this kind of thing. Um, and I feel like it becomes almost like a downward spiral. Like I'm, I wouldn't say I'm happy with where I'm at, I am trying to just lose a little bit just to make myself feel a little bit more comfortable um, but I don't feel like it needs to be a secret I'm not going to hide my body I'm not going to cover up and so yesterday I thought my bikini has been hiding in the corner of the room since we've got to well since we moved into our apartment and it's been shoved away I've not wanted to look at it I've not wanted to wear it and I thought, you know what, let's bite the bullet, let's see what the damage is. Um, tried it on for the first time since, must be since November. And I was really pleasantly surprised. I, I know there's only so much that you can do in four months, but I genuinely feel like I've managed to pack on some muscle. Um, so there's good and bad gains all around. But I bit the bullet, I did it. I took a few pictures just so I can try and measure some progress. Um, as I say, I'm not happy with where I'm at by any means. I've got a long, 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 long way to go. But I feel like I'm more honest with myself about it now and feeling better and ready to make the most of. Still got three months left on off season, just under three months. Um, and then it'll be prepping for Barcelona. I cannot wait. It's going to be incredible. And more than anything, I've set goals for areas that I want to improve on. Um, and I'm going to do everything I can to improve. I, as long as each show I move on to, I've improved. That's all I can ask for. And that's all I care about. You can't control what anyone else is doing. You can't control how they look or how they present themselves. So you've just got to bring the best you in. I know everyone says that, but that's all you can think about because if you don't in this sport, it could drive you insane. Um, 
So I think your mental approach is the most important thing in this sport and that's all my focus is for now. Um, so that's me. Um, I feel like I've rambled on for quite a long time. I only wanted this to be like a five minute video but as soon as I get talking that's it, it's game over. And I seem to have these eureka moments. Um, I spoke to one of my friends at work the other day who is quite into star signs and was saying that Virgos are such deep thinkers and when they have something on their mind they kind of close themselves off and process these thoughts until it all makes sense to them and they know how they feel and what they want to do about it and then bam they're on it and they almost transform as a person and it just really sat with me because I know I'm that kind of person I have these eureka moments where I like to just want to write a post and share it with people or I'll have these thoughts that I just want to put out there like as I say more than anything for my progress tracking but to hear from girls that it's helping them to and it's inspiring them to as I say it's priceless and you, what more can you ask for that's what fitness is about helping each other along the way um, no matter what level you're at so oh, this is just such a good view I can't get over it sorry um, so that's it this is my eureka moment I fit the bullet here's my first YouTube video gonna try and post a couple of times a week um, probably just me rambling but um, for the girls I sent out the glute guide to um, I'm gonna try and start videoing my sessions or some of my sessions so that what I've written you can actually see in action picture paints a thousand words um, and I'm sure that some of the terminology I use may to other people seem like jargon whereas to me it's not so so I can actually show you what I mean and talk you through what I mean um, and going into April I'm also hoping to um, send out a new plan for anyone that's interested I'm thinking plyometrics this time um, but we'll see as I say I was so overwhelmed with the re response let's put another one out there and see who's interested um, that's me just heading home now breakfast and off to the Arnold I cannot wait um, speak to you soon